Hi guys, bright sunny afternoon again, shadows and sunshine. Been thinking about making a 3D printed uh, catapult launch glider. Um, I've done a small one, I printed one off, somebody else had done one and I copied that. And I've also had a go at my own, neither of them have I tried flying outdoors yet although the lockdown restrictions have been eased a little bit. What I'm looking at here is using one of my polystyrene pizza trays, that's the wings. I've printed this piece, so the idea is that will squeeze in there. So I'll cut a couple of wings off here. I've got a barbecue skewer for the actual fuselage. I printed that as the nose so I can hook a rubber band on there and add a bit of weight at the front. That's a bit of a tight fit that one so I'll just push that there for now. And then I was thinking of doing a, a V tail or butterfly tail. So I actually printed this. I think it's a bit small for what I had in mind. And I printed that bit so the idea is I glue that down, I'll have a V tail. So I'll just. This might be a bit bigger than I actually had in mind. I've got various different size pizza trays. I might say that, that is a bit bigger than I had in mind, especially if I can use that for the tail. Kind of make two wings out of it. I'm going to have a look and see if I've got a smaller one. Right, that one's quite a bit smaller. Uh, that's about 20, 23, 24, 23 and a half centimetres in diameter. So if we just cut it in half. And then what we've got left. I'm not um, making any effort to um, design this as such, I'm just using what I've got. So that's going to be our wing. I did a whole series on whether it was better to have the dimples on the top or the bottom. And I think the final uh, consensus of opinion was to have the dimples on the top, which might surprise some people. a bit thicker. Oh, I've got to trim out some of the 3D printing straggly bits. Yeah, I'll trim them out and then we'll push them on and just see what happens. Another little trick with this stuff. Just take a pencil or something and rub down the edge. Have a 
nice rounded front end. So no sanding involved, you're just flattening it. There we are, we've got sort of an airfoil shape now. That's going to be the front edge. probably want that the other way you usually have a bit of rising up at the bottom on the tip right I'll trim that okay so So that's our wings. Well, the tail I was going to super glue, wasn't I? Might be a bit small, but we'll go for it anyway. Right, there we are. Glued the tail on. I've balanced it probably a bit far back actually. Slightly less than 50% cord. Can I move that a little bit? A bit more. Oh, that one add a bit of weight. I've already added a screw at the front. Too bad. No idea what it'd do with a catapult on it. And the idea of having this on here so we could slide it was so we could adjust the balance. Let's push it back just a touch further. about two-thirds of the way to the front or a third back. Oh, caught a little gust of wind then. Nice gentle glide. Just in case you get excited, there's no water in the paddling pool. We're thinking of cleaning it, you can see it's filthy. Oh, 
installed it. Let's just slide that back a tiny bit more. Can't be too far now. Gust of wind die down. Quite possible it might have slid forwards when it landed. I should put a pencil mark on it, shouldn't I? Yeah. be honest it could probably do with that tail being longer and a bit more weight at the front because that short moment arm there makes it will tend to make it a bit twitchy so maybe a little bit more weight at the front and then we can move the wing forwards quite a bit I'd like to have it about there somewhere I think nice. Yes, that's about where I'd like it. So we needed a bit more nose weight. That'll do, for now. Just give it a launch with a very light rubber band. Whoa, nearly lost it. Obviously I've glued it on there so that it doesn't pull off with the rubber band. 
Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.